and welcome back to my channel so today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this mauve makeup look um real quick i just want to apologize for not uploading last week i had a crazy busy schedule and i just never had time to sit down and film so i'm sorry about that but i'm going to try to keep uploading once a week um be sure to subscribe to my channel that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video so yeah without further ado let's get started so today we're going to start things out um, doing the base first, so I'm just putting my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation um, all over my face and then blending that out with a brush. concealer of course I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm just going to put that under my eyes on the bridge of my nose forehead and chin and then I also put it on my eyelids just to use as a primer and then I'm blending that out with the same foundation brush I was using earlier Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I recently got this in an Ipsy bag and I just want to let you guys know this powder is really really nice. It's very finely milled and it really does just erase like all your pores. Um, it makes your skin look super smooth and I really like it. Now I'm just going to set the rest of my face using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. So I use the IT Cosmetics powder strictly where I put concealer and then I'm putting this everywhere else. Moving on to bronzer, I'm using my Fiona Style Sculpting Palette and I'm going to take that shade right there in the middle and just use that to contour my cheekbones. This um, sculpting palette is really, really nice, very easy to blend, um, and if you can still find it, I highly recommend you pick it up. into my Maybelline Master Contour Palette and using the contour shade to just bronze up my skin. I felt that my skin needed a little more warmth which is why I go ahead and put this bronzer on my skin as well. Moving on to blush, I'm using my City Color B Matte Blush and I'm just taking that mauve shade right there and applying that to my cheeks. Going back into the Maybelline Master Contour Palette, I'm taking that highlight shade in there and using that to highlight my cheekbones as well as the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm using my Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go and just taking the little brush that comes in there and using the darkest shade in the palette to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just taking a spoolie to even everything out and brush product through and then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and go ahead and throw this through my brows just to give a natural highlight and set them in place. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and that shade right there and just start buffing that into the crease. into my Morphe 35P palette. I'm going to take that shade right there and start deepening up the crease with this using the same brush that I use with the Urban Decay shade. Now taking this shade again in the Morphe 35P palette and I'm going to begin packing this all over my lid. Here I'm just taking that blending brush from before with no additional product and just blending out the edges. 
Now I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I'm going to take that taupey mauve shade right there and start packing this all over the lid. And real quick I just want to mention I did not use Fix Plus or anything like that so this shadow is like dry. I just dipped my brush in and then kept packing on the shadow until I liked the intensity of the color. <laughs> Going back into the 35P palette, taking that deeper plum shade, and I'm just using this to deepen up the eye look, just adding it right to the outer V. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give everything a nice little blend and make sure everything just looks how I want it to. There's no harsh lines anywhere and yeah, stuff like that. Going back into the 35P palette, taking that matte bone colored shadow and just applying that as my brow bone highlight. Now I'm quickly just taking that shimmer shade right there in the Jaclyn Hill palette and applying that to the very tops of the brow bone. Now I'm going to take this champagne shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and use that as my inner corner highlight. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take that first shade we used from the Morphe 35P palette and buff that from the outer corner to the inner corner along the lower lash line. Now I'm taking a flat definer brush and that dark plum shade that we used to deepen up the outer corners of our eye and just applying that shadow right below my lower lash line, getting it as tight as I can to the lash line. Then I'm just taking my pencil brush and buffing everything out. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes real quick and apply some mascara. And for mascara today, I use the Smashbox X-rated mascara. And this mascara was very, very nice. I really liked how it made my eyelashes look and I'm definitely gonna be using it again. Now moving on to lips, I'm gonna be using my Estee Edit Lip Liner in the shade In The Buff and just lining my lips with that. And then for my lip combo today, I'm using two ColourPop Ultra Satin lip colors and the first one is Frickin' Frack and the second one that I layer over top is called Magic Wand. And the reason I did this is I thought Frickin' Frack on its own was like too dark. It just was too dark for what I was looking for so I just took the nude one over top to lighten everything up and I really like uh, the combination. And that completes this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!